Creating a custom template using LUTs is our topic today on Luminar Coffee Break. Let's see what we can accomplish in 10 minutes or less, starting now. Hello everyone, glad you could join us. All right, so our topic, like I said, is how to create a custom template using a LUTs, all right? And I'm gonna show you a couple neat little tricks on that. So the first thing I did was came over to the templates and for this photo, I'm gonna let it decide what would look really cool with this um, image. I love clean light, so let's just click on that. So I'm just doing a real quick edit of the photo before we get into the LUTs. All right, so I have that set. It's looking good. Now, before I start to enhance the image, let's add that LUTs. So I'm gonna come down here to the Mood tool. And when I click on it, I wanna choose one of the custom LUTs that are built right in. Now, keep in mind, for me to see what's, um, what the LUTs are gonna look like, I have to hover over each and every one of these to, to, to decide. After a while, you're gonna pick up on some of your favorites. Um, for me, I love wooden, all right? So I'm gonna use wooden for this image. And what I'm gonna do is crank up the amount quite a bit. Ooh, look at that. So here's before, here's after, all right? So what did the LUTs do? Well, it added a new mood to this image and it did color grading. So LUTs came over from the video world and it stands for lookup table. So what it's doing is essentially replacing, you know, this color with this color, this color with this color, and it's giving us a continuity all the way through, and it allows us to change it up to create a cool mood to this image, all right? So now that I have that set, saving is going to be a real easy, but let's take this one step further and do a little bit of editing. So now that I have my LUTs built, in, my, my LUTs set, what I want to do is this. I'm going to... Zoom in just a little bit, right click, and I want to show the histogram for a moment. Let's see, yep, I thought so. Now I clicked on this little um, arrow up here. What this is going to do for me, it's showing me what parts of the image are clipped. And of course, his shirt is. It's, it's a white shirt, shot outside. So let's come over here to light, and I'm going to dial down some of the highlights. So real neat little trick. Now look, it, it took away almost all of it. Let me pull back just a little bit. So it did a great job. Look at that. It did a great job. Um, from here, if the rest of it is bothering me, which it really isn't, but I'm going to show you a neat little trick. I'm going to take the exposure and move it down just a little bit. Notice how these areas here changed. Now I'm going to come up here to enhance AI or let X and AI do its thing and what its thing is is simply amazing it, it automatically improves color detail tone and depth of an image and it does it without clipping the highlights so I loved what X and AI just did so I have that set his face is a little dark so let's come over here to the portrait tools and under face I want to relight it just a little bit Almost there. There we go. I like that. And I don't need the clipping anymore, so I'm going to hide that. And I might as well hide the Instagram, or the, yeah, the histogram. Good. All right, so here we have it. Look, before and after. Here's before. Now here's after. Look how the, the LUTs added that really cool mood to it. Now we have that set. Here's how we're going to save it. I'm going to come down here to the templates. And I'm going to click the little um, three elliptical dots and click Save. Now that it's saved, I'll show you where we locate it. So if we come over to Templates. And I'm going to come down to My Templates. And here it is. Let's give it a descriptive name. So I'm going to rename it. Let's, and I know it's wooden. Let's call this um, Outdoor Mood. All right, there we have it. Now, here's the cool part about saving 
a LUTs inside of your template. I'm going to click on these three dots again. And now what I want to do is show in Explorer where is this template on my computer. So I click on it and notice it's stored right here in the user templates data. If I back up a little bit more, Luminar. So this is on a Windows machine. On a Mac, you'll just say find in uh, uh, locate in Finder. So I'm going to just double click on data and we templates user and here's the one we just created all right now why is this so important well, let, me, let me double check first there we go here's the one we just created now what's cool is this if that were a custom LUT so let's say a buddy of yours created these LUTs or downloaded them and gave it to you to try out you love it now when you save it watch what happens if I double click and I go into resources, boom, it's right there. Look at that. So if I were to give you this template, I exported it out, handed it off to you, you put it on your computer. If you don't have the same LUTs that I have on my computer, it's okay because it packaged it with it. That's why it's so cool and so exciting that the templates will save not just your custom LUTs, you know, built in, but if we were to replace the sky, for example, it'll put the sky in that um, folder. If we added, let's say, a moon or birds to the scene, it'll add that to this folder, so it's self-contained. So even if the, pers the person that you hand this off to doesn't have that LUTs, the sky, um, or any of those augmented elements, you'll still be able to run it and all of it will be added to the particular photo that you're working on. Now, with that being said, uh, let me zoom out a little bit here. There we go. All right, so with that being said, um, what's cool about that is if you decide to delete a LUTs for whatever reason or even the sky, you take it off your machine or, God forbid, it crashed um, and your computer crashed and you lost it, it's okay as long as you have that template, whatever, whatever you stored or saved in that containing folder will automatically appear on your image. So I hope you found that exciting. If you did, please give this a thumbs up and please uh, hit that notification bell so you can be reminded of when we're having these um, coffee breaks. And if you like what we're doing, please leave a comment below. If you decide to give us a thumbs down, for whatever reason, don't just hit the thumbs down, but leave a comment on what you feel we could do to make these um, videos much better. Well, guys, thank you so much for joining me, and I'll see you at the next coffee break.